Welcome to my realm located beyond both time and space. This is not how Pokemon usually starts. Where's my mom? It is well that thou art here. Really? Are we talking to God right now? I am that which humans call Arceus. Arceus. Arceus, probably. He's electric. Arceus. Uh-huh. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Here I am. I'm going to overuse this camera check. Get ready for it. I bet I'm about to make a character. Ah, I see, I see. Uh, where's, where's Mr. Brown Hair Kid? I guess that's me. What is thy name? What do we call ourselves, Chad? Bung, bungus. Floor? Uh, Geff? Clapper. Clamp, clamps, clamper. Cholesterol, cholesterol. Bab. We can call it par parped. I like it. Farty McStinky. Now there is an answer that it just gets me right in the feels. Oh. A farty McStink is all we could afford. No. F far Fardo. Fardo? Mm, I kind of like Fardo. Fardo, yes, perfect. Just far <laughs> Just Fardo. There we go. Yes! I am Farto. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. I've never heard the word said, I've only been able to read it, so it's hopefully that's how it's pronounced. Farto, seek out all Pokemon, by Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. So I died and went to heaven, and my heavenly mission is to capture all the Pokemon so I can get back into heaven. Weird premise, but okay. I'm going with it. Oh no, my iPhone, dude. Oh crap, God's stealing my phone. Or, he is blessing my phone. This has very, the music so far this, for this has very strong Breath of the Wild vibes, and I'm not mad about that. Oh, do wake up, won't you? Am I about to beat mommy? Oh, shit. Hey, what's up, dudes? Are you alive, my boy? Professor Yoke? Damn, son. We're out here in Breath of the Wild. Give me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness, you seem unharmed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. No, I, I asked you first, bro. Come on. I mean, you fell out of the sky. You understand. Come now. Who in the world does that? Uh, my name's Fardo. I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty cool. I must say your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know. I'm just a helpless child. See, you seem to be in quite a, a bit of a pickle. Quite a bit of a pickle. I might offer some directions. Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Bro, I don't know. Do I look like I know? So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night? Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Uh, pro yeah, I'm good. Probably, I don't know. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. I guess I don't... They, they make their own noise, so I don't have to do that. Oh my! I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemans. When you tumbled out of the sky, it almost as if they knew you'd appear here. It's because God sent me. Ah, but do you even know what Pokemans is? Uh, yeah, dude. Barely noticeable nod, obviously. Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. And what might your name be? Oh, Fardo. My name has quite the ring to it. I imagine I must have come... I must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Leventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here. Whoa. Oh, no. They ran away. I mean, oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Whoa. What, you three? What? That's probably how he sounds. Whoa. 
You can play Pokemon in first person. That's really disorienting. iPhone, is that you? Whoa. No stranger danger whatsoever in the Pokemon world. No, no, no. We're safe. We're cool. It's chill. We're cool. I found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone. Oh my god, is God texting me? Arc phone. My mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Guys, God's totally texting me right now. Holy shnikes. Probably not supposed to swear when I'm interacting with God. Bro, I'm a kid. I could probably do what you need better than you can. Rowlet, the cute one. Bowtie feathers. Got it. Adorable. Cyndaquil. Sure. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Foom indeed, sir. That one's Drinky Puss. Oh, Oshawott. Whatever. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its tum-tum. Aw, -tum. they're all cute. I like Water Clown, though. Oh, yeah. Pokeball. So these are po Dude, what's wrong with your Pokeball? Why is it some crazy-ass color? What happened? Is this, like, in the before times? Mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down in a minuscule size, and that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one within a Pokemon, and Pokemon will shrink down inside the ball. Blah, blah, blah. That's how you catch Pokemon. I'm familiar. Ah, you beat him in the back of the head. Got it. All right. Oh, wonderful. I caught one. Yes. <laughs> Fardo. I forgot my name was Fardo. Yeet! Okay. That was a waste of a couple balls there, but we're fine. There we go. Easy peasy. Hey, Rowlet. Is this you? This is you, bro. Hey, what's up, bro? Got he. Whoa. Not cool. Hard and fast, right in your face. Uh, how do you like that? Uh, yeah, I thought so. Catch the professor guy Pokemon. He's a Pokemon in disguise. I appeared because of my god phone. Yep. That is an odd device. I don't know. It's like my calling or whatever. Something you'd like to share with me. Compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemons. Bro, you got any extra Pokédexes? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm talented. Mm-hmm. We should work together, creepy guy. You've convinced me. Onward to the Jubilee Village? I didn't read it carefully. Something like that. Maybe I should read. I'm, I'm getting into the habit already of just being like, A, 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 skip, skip, skip. Oh, God, skip. Thank you for your tireless work. Keeping us safe, my good guardsman. Pretty, pretty lax security, my guys. I gotta be honest. Oh, boy. Oh, look at all of that action. Jubilife Village has come a long way thanks to the fine people at Nevermind. Road we're on now is known to the locals as Canala Avenue. Village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet, and not many to do it. Since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people have stayed to set foot outside the village. That's fair, I guess. Now that impressive building ahead of us is Galaxy Hall headquarters to this entire outfit. Oh, botheration. I'd almost forgotten. Need to go and report that we successfully recovered the Escapade Pokemans. Bro, I can wait for you at the canteen. It's just past this bridge here. Then to the left, the Wallflower, it's called. You got it, bud. Magical phone? No way! What if I sneak up behind you? Hey. Alright, I'm gonna go. Whoa, what am I investigating? What's this? It's a bridge! Hello! I'm just from Pokemon Jesus. Just call me Pokemon Jesus. Yep. That's what I'm here for. Why am I suspicious? We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Bro. That's not very nice. 
Where are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties to somebody in the village. Yeah, that creepy dude. Yep, got piece of one. Laventon, that's the one. This Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes, it makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock. Oh my god. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow. To put it mildly. Whoops, talking shit about the professor behind his back, but he's here. Whoopsie. Everything will be quite all right now. Fardo here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? Can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. Hey, is that Captain Silene? Oh my god, she's out of fucks. She has no fucks to give about anything. Assuming the individual can contribute. I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team's Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. It's like Eileen, but I'm a cyborg. I look to be 15. Yeah, I'm totally... I'm an adult. I'm of legal age to do things like this. Can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. You know what, lady? That's pretty fair. Oh my god, how much talking is there? That's quite all right. I did, but, uh, Eileen's cool. I, don't, I like her. She's not trying to chat my goddamn ears off. Hey, remember how you were a dick to me two seconds ago? Yeah, I'm cool now. The space-time rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. Well, he's probably cool then. Yeah, no, I'm cool. The Hisui region. Got it. The grass and forest by water, wherever they like. Our job is to research them. Got it. We know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. That's where Fardo comes in. You got it, bud. I already caught three of them. Super easy. Nobody in the galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. Three? A leisurely meal with this outsider? Bro, we're talking strategy. We are working on it. Nom 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 nom, need the mochi, okay. I'm assuming there's going to, oh no, it's gonna be evening and then I'm gonna sleep and then I'm gonna wake up and then I'm gonna put some clothes on and then I'm gonna do the test. Got it. Good night. I just gotta go to bed underneath the space time tear continuum rift thing. Any idea what starter I want? I think I want Rowlet, but I kinda like them all so I'm not sure what I'm actually gonna choose. This whole house is for me? Damn, son. They made the starters a hard choice for Fardo. However, it was about to be the first of many choices to come. Oh, narr- oh boy. Uh oh. This music is so vaporwave. Bro, right? This intro is so slow. Yeah, it was crazy ass lightning, I know. I know. Day of my trial, I know. Hello. Captain Silene is waiting. Got it. Go do the thing. Got it. I bet I'm going to throw some Pokeballs and whatnot. Whoopsie. I, I ran right past it because I'm a moron. Hey, I belong in here. Don't stop me. Okay. I ran here. How'd you get here before me? Oh, no. This man's was Pokemon to death. Man, you have so many books and papers and they're all the exact same color. Do you guys not invented dye yet? Clearly, you have other things that are colorful. You wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemans. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy has ever managed that. The stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. 
Yeah, but dub, dub, you wish to stay. You must prove beyond any doubt. You'll be an asset to our cause. All right. Give me a satchel. What would dub, dub Is that true? Bardo, come with me a moment. Okay. A lot of being ordered around here. Jolly good morning, everyone. Blah, blah, blah. I must pass the trial. Yep. Just the ticket. Bro, give me some money. Oh, I get a buddy. See, I kind of like him. The clown, the water clown is funny, but eh. But I like fire porcupine. I'm going to go with Cyndaquil. Yes. 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 Cyndaquil. Yes. Aw, oh, buddy, you're so cute. I love you. Cuckoo! Sorry, bro. I would have picked you guys if I could. A bidoof and a something and a something else. Yeah, give me some more Pokeballs, bro. 20? That's way less than before. All right, start with a level 5 Cyndaquil. Hot diggity. Hot doggity dang. The rest of these Pokemon will be turned into meal and fed to our livestock. Pokemon are very nutritious. Their blood is a healing quality we don't yet understand, but even a small one-ounce shot of it, straight down, chased with some beer, is both delicious and very refreshing. Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs. Bro, I don't have any money, are you joking? I do have a Pokemon, but I don't have any cash, so... How about I see our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Let's do it, bro. There are no turns in this. Interesting. Aw, Togepi, he's adorbs. I like the music. How many Pokemans? You only had the one, thank God, okay. New move? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Thank you for using a potion or whatever. Oh, you gave me some potions. Thanks, bud. Thanks, introduction men. Fardo used shoot them with gun. It's super effective. You leave Jubilee Village. Make sure you choose the destination from your map and tell the rest, the guardsmen, where you're going. You got it, bud. I will always tell you where I'm going. Uh, yes. I must go to the Obsidian Fields, Fieldlands. Yes, that's where I must go. Welcome to the relaxing, chilling out stream, Pokemon's time. Oh my god, is there cooking in this game? Let's begin the trial! In my goofy ass t shirt. I like that I look really goofy right now. I appreciate that. They were like, you could have really cool starting clothes, but let's make you look like a weirdo compared to these people.